today is a beautiful day. I, I'm gonna like mowing today. It doesn't even seem like anything's wet outside even though we got all that rain. It's uh, drying up and it's like 70 degrees and super low humidity um, and dew point. So the boss isn't with me today. I'm on my own today and we're, we are behind, but Chase started school last week and he was really upset that mommy wasn't gonna stay home with him on uh, his day off. So rather than get him upset, I said, told her just to stay home, hang out with him. I don't want him to get like, I don't want him to get really upset being that it's his first day, his first week of school. So I'll be all right. People can wait. Family comes first. Um, anybody, has, I mean, if I have anybody that calls and complains, my family's first before anything else. Um, but we'll get as many done. I'm going to take some of my ones that I'm like at, at about two weeks on because usually we do nine to 12 days, but the rain's got them at like 14 days. I'm going to push them until Monday rather than trying to cut overgrown lawns today and fight with them and only get eight done. I'm going to go do all of my weeklies and hopefully get about 15 done. And I might throw a couple of my ones that are behind in, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I'll get it done. So I'll keep you updated on how much work I'm getting done. Might not record many of them before and after because you guys have seen all these. So I'll just do a little vlog. So it's 10.50. I'm at my first six lawns. I mean, five lawns that I got to do. Let's see how many of them I can get. It's the one back there. I'm not going to do afters or befores maybe a little bit I'm just gonna try to get them done so 1050 let's see how I can get these five done in under two hours hopefully because I got to drive back up the road to the other four and not after this one so we'll see so I just finished them uh, five in that development uh, I think I said I started at 1050 I finished at 12 15 or 14 so that's it took me an hour and 25 minutes I think that is to do all five of them that's the fastest I've done them because it's really cool out today at high 60 something degrees we'll see how many I can get done these next two are pretty big um, they usually take me about two hours to do both of them because I definitely got to double cut them because they grow so fast and they're weeklies um, so we'll see if I can get that time beat if I had a sulky some wheels um, then we'd be I'd get them done probably an hour and 15 minutes but I don't know if we're going to be able to make that investment this year. Um, we really like to. I want to get a nice one. So we'll see how that happens. So once I'm done these two, it'll be seven done for the day. Hopefully I can get them done. It's 1220 right now. Hopefully I can get them done by at least two o'clock. If I can get them done by then, then I'm doing good. If not, then whatever. We'll, we'll get there. So I'll maybe, I don't know. So I ended up finishing this one and this one and then this one over here. That one was pretty long seed heads. So off to the next one. So I did end up finishing the two I just showed. I ended up finishing the two of them I just showed you. Um, I think I started at 12.30, it's 1.54, so that's an hour and 24 minutes, wait, it's all 30, 1.30, yeah, hour and 24 minutes I finished them too and double cut them too, so, and they were the big ones, so I beat my time, and I think I talked to the, one. Of the, well, I don't think, I know I talked to a client, <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. I talked to the client for about 10 minutes too, so I mean, I think I had that one, both of them two big properties done in an hour and 15, I think, so pretty good. It's 1.55, I'm off to number eight for the day, and I started at 10.50, so that's eight of them done, 10.50, 11.50, 12.50, 1.50, in three hours, so I got eight done, so, or seven done, and I'm on my eighth one, um, so that should hopefully... I can get that one done in under 40 minutes. 
that'll make eight by t almost three o'clock. So then I'll try to get hopefully five or six more done. We'll see. So that one's number eight. Let's see how fast I can get that done. I think it was two o'clock. So a couple of people or somebody asked about a review on my Ferris FW35. Um, love this mower. It has almost 400 hours. I think I'm eight away from 400 hours. And it's a little bit over a year old. I think a year and two months maybe. But it's got the FX 65 1V Kawasaki 20 and a half horsepower. Gotta say the only thing I don't like about this mower is all the knob, black knob things fell off too tight and everything. So what I gotta do is get some washers, put them in here with an Allen key because it just sits on there. That's the only thing have not had to let's knock on wood it's been 400 hours and i haven't even changed the belts on it so i haven't changed the belts on it let's hope i don't have to i mean they're still really tight i mean all of them are still really really tight belts um oil change on this is very simple you just undo this bad boy let it drain out and then you have your oil filter that's right there no that's not yeah that right here you just untighten it makes a little bit of a mess though but and hydraulics i haven't touched uh change them yet i'll let the the shop do hydraulics i don't want to mess with them but other than that it's a key start pto right here to engage the blades right here oh it's another thing a knob thing fell off not even long after I bought it. So the tight this way is what raises the deck. So, and measure your deck because the numbers don't mean that's how many inches it, inches it is. I think at four and a half, I'm running maybe three and three quarters of an inch, four inches. Um, other than that, it's pretty, pretty good. I mean, I love it. I'm gonna get another Ferris. I won't change brands. Um, it's got greasable bearings that we do twice a week. Um, greasable bearings that we do twice a week. There's three for the spindles. And then you have the wheels you got to grease. And then I grease all these. There's one. One here. Where's the other ones? One here. One here. So there's three on each side plus the wheel. So four there. Um, and then you can grease these handles right here. There's a grease fitting here too. To grease them and i do that i try to do them twice a week same as sharpening the blades on this thing um this is what you push forward to make it go forward you just push that forward release the brake um and then you have the foot pedals to slow you down and stop you it takes a little while to get used to them but to change the air filter it's just you pop these two things off here and that'll get you to your air filter which i need to blow out it's kind of dirty so but other than that, and there's two filters in it. There's a main and then a second one. Um, fuel filters right here. Very simple to change. Pull these two things off. Haven't changed the plugs yet. Haven't had to do that. The exhaust system's holding up really well. And I've never had to put any air in the tires yet. They haven't gone flat, knock on wood. They've been perfect. Most perfect, most level. Um, so that's a quick review on this uh, FW35. I absolutely love this mower. Like I said, uh, I mean, the only thing I've ever run before was a Husqvarna homeowner's mower, 24 and a half horsepower. But, oh, sorry about the camera. I'm trying to move my blower off, which that ain't what you're supposed to do. I ain't gonna freaking. So, well, let me get to work and start this one, and then we'll go from there. So, I finished number eight. Off to number nine, and I got that done in 38 minutes, less than I wanted to. I mean, not less than I wanted to, quicker than I thought. I'm a little out of breath, I'm moving fast because it's cold out today, and I can. So, off to number nine, that one should be pretty quick and easy, it takes longer to get up there. But there were bees in that one, so we'll see. Oh, and a quick note, I do, when I do maintenance on the Ferris, I do change it. I'm pretty sure if you watch some of the videos every 50 hours, I think the longest I went was 60 
hours, 60, 62 hours, and then I change it in 40 something the time after that. Then the X mark, I do that every other time I change the ferris, the same as the truck. Every other time we change the ferris. So let's get off to the next one. So I finished that one, it's up the hill and to the right, you guys have seen that. So that's number nine for the day. And oh, I think a mosquito bit me. Okay, and on the ferris, since I was doing a review earlier in the video, accessories that I have on, this is a trimmer trap. That's the company that makes it. Um, bolts to the side of the mower. Uh, I think I had to drill holes there, which I mean, now if I want to get to my hydraulic unit to fill up, I have to unbolt this. That's the only downfall about this because I don't think, I guess I could finagle it, but like I said, these black pieces came, the black pieces came off the whole disc, so I have to get washers or something just so it fits right. Um, the trimmer trap blocks everything from going into bed somewhat. I don't like when the grass gets built up here, you gotta scrape it off because it doesn't close all the way. And another thing is, see what I mean? It doesn't close all the way. So I gotta scrape that. Still, it's effective. And then when it does close all the way, there's an opening. It almost has to bend back this way. It put another piece because the grass shoots out. And when you're turning around the flower bed, if you're turning, it will shoot the grass into a stream out into the bed. So maybe I can bolt something on to fix that later. Um, other accessories um, down here. If you look underneath the mower down there, I don't know if you can see it. That's a horse mat. I bolted onto the holes that were there and that's what I stripe with. I'd like to get something a little more bendable so I can go down a little bit more lower without hitting like the mole holes it'll the flap will bend but that'll we'll figure that out another day okay off the number 10 11 12 and 13 so we'll see how far i get on them i finished number uh 10 11 and 12 back there it's 6 11. i technically could probably do three more but i think i'm only going to do one i think 13 for the day I mean, I did start at 11 o'clock, so seven hours, I got 13 done, but that's with uh, probably about 50, 60 miles of driving, too, because I had to drive up north. So, let me finish this last one. Um, you've seen this one probably a million times in the videos, but uh, get this done and then head home. Well, go get the boss for coffee first, then I'll be headed home. So I finished that one, number 13. Like this. So I finished that one right over there. Um, that was number 13. So I did 13 for the day in eight hours. Ain't bad. I was trying to get 15, but that didn't happen. I mean, I could go mow the last two in an hour, but I'm done. I'm going to get the boss some coffee and headed home. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, guys.